So today I'm taking a look at the Cumbar 3 channel dash cam. It has a 2K, 1K, and a 1K camera for a total of 4K. GPS tracking, 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi connection, and a magnetic bracket. Here on the side it says uh, WDR and it has an F1.8 stop. So that should be pretty good at dark. Uh, super night vision. Built-in 5G Wi-Fi GPS app controlled. Loop recording, G sensor, and parking monitor. Keep in mind the parking monitors, you need to have a direct hot wire runner to it. And it has a little kit that you can purchase to where you can make that work. All right, first thing we have in the box is our main camera. Feels pretty solid. Comes pre-installed with a 64 gigabyte SD card. That's pretty cool. Then we have our rear camera plug-in right here. Our cabin camera will plug in right here. Have our speaker right here. And our screen right here. Let's see what else we got in here. Okay, we have our cabin camera. Like I said, this is what will plug in right over here. The cool thing about this is you can move that camera lens around to get the right angle that you need. So that can be adjusted. Have our user manual. It's like we have our connection cables, the cigarette adapter for your main power. And here we have our rear camera and the cable for that. Run it to the back of your vehicle. As your uh, tools right here to run your cable. So you can pull out your upholstery just a little bit to run that cable in behind there without having to take the upholstery completely off. Just a little pry bar basically. And it comes with your electrostatic mounting shields. You put this up on your glass and then mount your camera on there. That's what's in the box. Now let's see what's on the screen. Let's get it plugged in and check it out. I was getting ready to plug this in and uh, notice it has an extra USB port right here on the back. So in case you only have one outlet, you will be able to plug something else in right there. We'll go over these keys right here if you'd like. The keys on the bottom of your camera, starting right here, we have the power button, the up button, the okay button, the down button, and the mode button right here. And the little hole beside that is your microphone. Those are pretty important to know when you're setting up your camera. Now keep in mind, this does come with an app that you can download and you will probably be able to do most all those settings through the app. And the first thing we're gonna notice is it says English. So we will set, the, uh, set it to English. Also right across the bottom, if you didn't notice, it has what the buttons are on the underside. Just right across here, it'll tell you your power, your up button, your OK button, your down button, and your menu button. So we will press the OK button. We set your time. We get the time and date set. You can scroll through here as needed. And you'll want to be sure to format your card before you use the camera. So we're gonna go ahead and hit OK. And hit your menu button. And you have your video settings, your playback mode, parking monitor, G sensor, your Wi-Fi, your timestamp settings. You can change the different things that you want it to be marked, watermarked on your playback video, your SD card storage, your GPS, your system settings, as well as your about button. That'll be your main thing. Is just verify what your video settings are, your Wi-Fi, and your timestamps. The only thing I did was turn the Wi-Fi on. Then we will get our Wi-Fi connected to our phone after we download the software. Let's get the software downloaded and we will go from there. Make sure your camera is turned off. Unplug it if you'd like. And we will plug in the cabin camera, be the inside of your vehicle. And this is magnetic, so it'll kind of pull it up there to it and just plug it in. We are good to go. Now you can take your rear camera and we will plug that in right over here. Now your rear camera, you can turn that also, adjust that to where you need it. We're gonna go ahead and download the app and get that installed. If you look in your user manual, you'll see the QR codes to uh, get access to the apps as needed, whether it's the App Store or Google Play. In my case, it's going to be Google Play, so I'm going to get that installed. 
be the on cam. While that's installed, we'll go ahead and plug our camera back up. Okay, once you get the software installed, go into your Wi-Fi settings and connect to your camera. It should be M571 dash cam. Once it's connected, it will show up right here. Then you can go into your update new version. Let's check that, make sure everything is up to date. Click on your phone right here, and it will open up your different settings. You can view your dash cam albums. You gotta stop the recording. Then you can view your recordings. Have all your recordings. You can go into your settings, and you can adjust pretty much everything that you do on your phone. It's easier for me just to use the app. You can adjust pretty much everything that's on your camera itself. You can do it all with the phone app. Let's go get it put in and get some sample footage. Well, as you can see, I don't have the camera in my hand to do my final thoughts on. That's because my final thoughts are it's still in my car. And that's where it's going to stay. I like this camera. I highly recommend it. Also, I am required to let you know that I am an Amazon associate, which means any qualifying purchases you make through any of my links, I will receive a small commission from.